Welcome to First Presbyterian Church's annual Bach Birthday Bash. Bach was a musical genius, but he was also a very dedicated church musician, which is very important to me. Tonight we celebrate Johann Sebastian with a performance of his Preludium and Fugue in G major, BWV 550. Influenced by previous North German preludia, this work is a continuous presentation in three sections, prelude, bridge, and fugue. There is no question that the three parts fit together into a cohesive whole. What is unusual about the work is the length of the fugue. Let's listen to the simple motive that the prelude is based on. Let's look at each section. Some scholars believe that the early preludia would begin with a simple chord to signal that the organist was about to begin. Usually the organ was located in a high loft above where the congregation gathered. By Bach's time, the simple chord became an elaboration. In this instance, the G major triad is elaborated upon and doesn't reach G definitively until the middle of measure five. As you listen to the prelude, notice how Bach uses this motive for the pedal solo and the extended conclusion of this portion. Next, the three measure interlude between the prelude and fugue has suspensions and diminished triads. It leads directly to the fugue. <laughs> into the fugue. The fugue subject has three parts. First of all, the first part of it is repeated notes followed by an arpeggiated tonic triad, which sounds like. Now, this simple, uh, this simple measure is then repeated a step higher. So we have this. Other part, which is the second, and it is an arpeggiated dominant triad followed by a single tonic note, which is. And then it all concludes with a cadence to the tonic, and you can hear in the melody four, three, two, one. So I'll play the subject in its entirety. After the presentation of this subject, the piece ends with two sequences. One sequence going up by step and one going down by step. These two sequences are connected with an arpeggiated dominant triad followed by the tonic, similar to the second part of the fugue subject. The Italians called this ascending sequence a monte, which means up the mountain and the descending sequence they would refer to as a fonte, or down the well. Let me play it for you now so you'll know what to listen for at the end.
ending to a delightful piece of music. I hope you will enjoy it and celebrate with me the life of J.S. Bach. <laughs>